can you add multiple GPU for pass tracer? Like imagine you have two, two, two th four thousand nineties. So, Colin, do you have the answer on that one? Yeah, yeah. This release uh, is going to support multi GPU for, for rendering. Multi GPU, multi multi GPU. It's going to support multi GPU. Multi 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 multi. Huge news for Twin Motion 2023, support for multiple GPUs. This is something we've been waiting for for ages. If you know anything about Twin Motion, it requires as much graphics processing power as possible. The more VRAM, the better. It's extremely resource intensive. We generally recommend starting out with something like an RTX 3060, 3060 Ti, but if possible, we recommend going up to a 4090. Now what's gonna be possible is more than one RTX 4090. If you saw our preview for the Moderna Computers Vulkan workstation, you will be aware that our Vulkan actually supports more than one GPU. We could fit up to two GPUs in a Vulkan, but we should also mention that multiple GPUs are not a requirement for Twin Motion. Much like the video we did a while ago about the requirements for DaVinci Resolve for the paid version and the free version, this video we are going to be discussing the requirements for Twin Motion basically at three different price points. We'll look at one system that's an entry level system, a powerful single GPU system, and a powerful dual GPU system. According to Twin Motion themselves, you're going to want a CPU with at least 2000 in the Passmark single core rating. Now, that's not an extremely high rating because there are even some previous generation CPUs that can handle this. But generally, we would recommend the most modern kind of CPU possible. We would recommend something from Intel's 13th gen. So here we've got a chart of some of our recommended CPUs. Basically, we would recommend starting out with at least something like a 13400 or a 13600K. You know, these 13th generation Intel Core CPUs have great single thread performance and they also have a good amount of cores. If you can afford to get an i7 like a 13700 or 13700K, that would be even better. And for the top end system, i9 13900K. Generally, we used to recommend 32 gigabytes to start off with and 64 gigabytes for larger projects. But as you will probably be aware, Intel 13th gen now supports 24 and 48 gigabyte modules, which will make a very, very big difference for larger twin motion projects. What this means is you'll be able to start off with 48 gigabytes, which will give you a lot of headroom for multitasking and future proofing. And it'll also allow you to upgrade to 96 gigabytes in the future. 96 gigabytes is gonna be fantastic for even very large twin motion projects. And what's nice is that since that only requires two modules, that means that you'll be able to get full XMP speeds. As with the CPUs, we can take a look at the relative performance of the GPU Twinmotion recommends something with at least 10,000 points in Passmark's GPU ratings. For an entry-level system, we would recommend RTX 3050 to 3060 Ti, and that's mainly because of the support for ray tracing. With a powerful single GPU system, there is quite a bit of a range you could go with. Anything from RTX 3070 Ti up to an RTX 4090 will be fantastic. Looking at powerful dual GPU system, we would only really recommend it if you are going with two RTX 4080s or 4090s. Now we are not entirely certain how multiple GPU performance is going to scale. So we can't necessarily say two RTX 4090s are going to perform exactly twice as well as a single 4090. However, for multiple GPUs, it's probably most valuable if you were to go with at least two RTX 4080s, as this would be roughly the price of two RTX 4070 Ti's Although a single RTX 4080 costs about as much as two 4070 Ti's, it is quite likely the RTX 4080 will provide more value. We can speculate on the performance of two RTX 4070 Ti's versus a single RTX 4080, but the other thing to keep in mind is that if you go with two 4070 Ti's, that means you have used your two slots. Rather than that, it's probably better to just go with a single 4080. In the future, you can upgrade it to two 4080s. Or you can just go all the way and install two 4090s. If you're using two 4090s in Twin Motion, you're going to have a very smooth experience. That is going to give you a total of 48 gigabytes of VRAM, which is absolutely massive. That is going to be able to handle even large projects with higher levels of detail very smoothly. It is going to be phenomenal for things like path tracing. Even with the AI denoising, you'll be able to have quite a large number of samples per pixel and it'll do it quite quickly. 
One important thing to note is that although this next release of Twinmotion is going to support multiple GPUs, it is not going to support multiple monitors. So in that case, just go for a really high quality single monitor. Going back to our recommendations for three different systems for Twinmotion at different price points, for an entry level system, we would recommend something like 13th generation i5-13400 up to 13700. We would recommend at least 32 gigabytes of RAM, 48 gigabytes would be great. Something like an RTX 3060, although you could go down to a 3050 or up to a 3070 if possible. For a powerful single GPU system, we would recommend at least an i7-13700. You can go 13700K or even 13900K if it fits within your budget. 48 gigabytes of RAM if possible, then you can just go up from there depending on the sizes of your projects. We would recommend 3070 Ti to RTX 4090. 4080 or 4090 would be a good plan if you are planning on upgrading to a dual GPU system in the future. For a powerful dual GPU system, you are going to want to max out things wherever possible. You are going to want i9-13900K, 96 gigabytes of RAM, maybe even 128 to 192, RTX 4080 or 4090 times two. Keep in mind that with two GPUs, you are going to want a lot of wattage in your power supply. So minimum 1,200 watts, maybe even up to 1,600. We're really excited to see what's going to be possible with new releases of Twinmotion, new features that are going to be available, performance optimization, and we just can't wait to see how it's going to handle multiple GPUs. Of course, everyone has a unique workflow, so please feel free to contact us and let us know the software that you're using, if you're using Twinmotion in combination with other software products as well. If you would like to contact us for a quote, for a consultation, you can just use the email address that is in the description. Thanks so much for watching.